Hey, what's up guys? I've got the Liminink portable tri-screen laptop that the company sent out. There's also a case that it comes with, or at least they sent it. It's like a sleeve. In the box, you get the triple portable monitor itself here. Wow, this thing is really cool. I've never really seen this before. I know they sell them separately, or I mean individually, just like one extra portable monitor, but having two just sounds really intense. Here's the user guide, a little extra kind of strap, a couple of wires. There's two of these HDMI's cables, mini HDMI to HDMI, USB-C to USB-A, and then USB-C to USB-C. This case recovery is made of leather on the outside. It's pretty soft on the inside, and this snuggles right in. And of course, there is a zipper on the side, two zippers to kind of close it in place. You can take it with you on the go. Now, I don't know if I trust this thing too much in case it falls to cover you from a fall, but regardless, it's nice that they included this. This right here is uh, just made from plastic and you can easily, it easily catches fingerprints here. Uh, I, my hands are not oily or greasy whatsoever, but it does look nasty. All of your ports and buttons are located on one side uh, for both monitors actually. You got the ports here and then the on-screen display as well as volume controls down here. There's a little kickstand at the end that you can open and also raise and it'll hold still. Now I'm not sure exactly what this is used for because I assume that this would get latched on behind the laptop. Let me try to figure this out. One more thing is that this back plate is actually expandable. It can be expanded pretty far out, which is kind of interesting. There are some like hinges or latches down here. So I don't know if you can see this exactly, but I figured this out. You have to put this these edges on top of the monitor and slide it in. You may have to raise it open a little more or expand it, I mean. And then just try to get the right lining up. Once that's on, voila, it's on. How this works is uh, kind of unique. So one monitor can go all the way back to show something if you want to show something to a friend. And this one can go forward all the way to the side up to 180 degrees. So kind of unique, but not really a problem. I thought there might have been because I was just thinking that, oh, this can't go back, but why would you really want it to as long as as long as one of them goes back. The one thing I wish this had was a protective cover or screen protector still, even after taking this out, but I guess it's not that big of a deal. This thing is a powerhouse, or it looks like one at least. Now, it took a while to get this figured out and set up, uh, but once you get it figured out, it looks amazing, and it's not gonna be so linear in terms of setting this up. So my laptop is an MSI Pulse GL66, so I had to get an HDMI dual cable or splitter that can connect to my USB 3.0, which I'll link below on it for Amazon. So this might not work for everyone. Some people, the USB-C port would be better, but you'll just have to kind of figure it out based on your device where it supports it from. So, and plus, not all laptops are supported, sadly, but most are, like mine. So, basically what you do is you take your HDMI cables that they included, it's the HDMI to mini HDMI connects here, and then you need a, something of a power source through USB. So it can be the, I'm connecting it through my USB hub that I have here, back here, and it works. Same with the other side, and this is connected through my desk, my gaming desk, but that's beside the point. On the surface, both the right and left side look the same. However, they're a little bit different. For instance, this left side only comes in so far. That's because this closes on the back when you close this up completely, so it goes more so backwards than forward. Versus the right side does close in the front, so you can kind of bring this in a little bit more. This may be a good thing if you're working with like multiple people in a group, so that one person can see your screen from the back, you can just tilt this backwards, and then you can still have two screens forward, as an example. They are similar in a lot of ways like having a 14 inch screen, 1920 by 1080 resolution, 60 FPS, and the brightness I wanna say is about 250 nits, give or take. I'll have to double check with the company and I'll update it in the, in the description or comments section below. There's a couple of presets on here for gaming, probably watching videos, so on and so forth. The one downside I will say is that the brightness and saturation is not on the same level as my laptop screen and that is noticeable uh, more close up from a distance i don't really notice it this may or may not have been a given and it's pr definitely not a deal breaker for me at least but definitely something worth mentioning when you're considering this i also want to show you that you can game on here at 60 fps i'm not sure if you can see it read the counter too well 
it's not consistent at 60 fps but that's just my laptop i mean there are there are three monitors that are being like worked on here so i'm not seeing any bottlenecks just yet but there is a lot of ram being used on mine the cpu usage has gone up as well as uh the gpu doesn't look too bad actually never mind gpu is only at 24 percent so that's not too bad i'm not sure if you're able to tell from here but this thing is really top heavy. Might be a given too. So I'm not able to place it all the way back, my laptop I mean, because if I do, then this doesn't stay still and it'll eventually keep coming down until it completely falls. So that's the one downside. Hopefully, thankfully it's holding up here. In the video, oh, I spoke too soon. So you gotta keep note of that. But overall, I like this. I think everything is great on here. The only other downside I really have is uh, there's gonna be a lot of cables around, so make sure you have good cable management. Some of the stuff back here is not in related to the monitor. It's just some other stuff back there. But regardless, I think it's a great addition for portability and also productivity. So that's why I like this and I can recommend it. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Would you get something like this? Is $500 justifiable? I guess it's on sale right now. I see it for under 500 So, yeah, I'll have the links down below. Feel free to check it out. And leave a like if you did find this video helpful and subscribe for more. As always, thanks for watching.